some of the things that that I'm aware of, the complaints that have that have come to me, and you know, this is again, this is not to to run down the contributions that you've made, Jeremy. This is to explain where we've come from and why we believe that they're, at, you know, we're at the kind of at the end of our rope here. So, uh, first of all, there's uh, even before I joined the board, was considering requesting to come onto the board. I talked to one of the former board members, um, who's certainly one of the most highly valued people in this movement uh, for his historical contributions. Um, he said that he left the board because of you, and he advised me actually to have nothing further to do with the Free State Project as a result. Um, but I was willing to, to give things a chance. Uh, several of the things that have become sort of but, more- So we're starting, this, we're starting this off with complete hearsay of someone who's not in this room saying something who's not even named, and that's the first piece of evidence as to why I'm not supposed to be on the board. I mean, I think part. everyone can guess who this person is. It's um, well, I, I, I mean, I, I think like, I, okay, sure. So, yeah. yeah. So then there was the the behavior of pork fest, which is very alienating at the the end of the um, the soapbox idol event. And I, you know, I believe you, even you've recognized that that was um, improper behavior in that context, especially the media. Have you though? Know, because I, he went to I, Twitter I, and defended his behavior. Right. So once again, I, I would request uh, su like subject. So first of all, I'm not going to claim that I got that perfectly. OK, um, that uh, that event um, was abandoned by Carla and a deranged and dangerous man was left on stage in complete violation of the rules. Uh, and the, the organization was completely uh, unable and unequipped to deal with it. Uh, there was a dangerous man on stage. Um, uh, so yes, I, I yelled at that man. I thought that was the appropriate response when you're dealing Jeremy, with someone like this. What you are indicating not, now is exactly I, the reason I, we have to get I, you off I, the board. I just said, I, well, I just said, I, I just said happened. that, well, so this is what I would say that pe people experience this event quite differently because you can go on to the comments of, of the video and there are lots of people on my side and saying, I'm glad that Jeremy did what he did, you know? Uh, the son of RFK's uh, campaign manager for New Hampshire came up to me after that event. He said he shook my hand. He said, thank you so much. So many people aren't as brave as you are and keep their mouth shut around these people. Dozens of people came up to me that night and thanked me for what I did. So yes, dozens of people came up to me and said the opposite, Jeremy. Yes, like exactly. And that's and that's how and we don't agree on things. We don't agree on vaccines. There have I think the people who have these these views about vaccines, about them being, and I know this is a big part of a few color, because I know you believe that every vaccine kills children. I know you believe that no children I, should get vaccinated. You know what? Please don't find these kinds of out there beliefs. And I know some of these, and I know some of these anti-vaccine people get. Jeremy, you can't find I any know. evidence. You so told me. You told me. Characterizing things. Carla, you told me. You've told me, and I've I've talked to other people about it as well. So, oh, so now here they is okay please, when you do it. So this is not going to be material. I don't think we just are going to okay, go but, down but, the but the point, but the point We're is, go down there the are you okay. Don't have uh, an opportunity to make rejoinders until. If, if hey, this this, this is gonna this will I I assume that this video will be shareable at the end of this. This will be the evidence that the Free State Project will be putting out in terms of its trial. It's going to be proud of what it conducted and, and the evidence that it's presenting. Right? So I think you're mischaracterizing what's happening, Jeremy. What we are doing as an organization is we are trying to act in the best interest of the entire organization. No, you are not. You are not. You're yes, a small group of people are. trying to protect Carla's ego specifically and a little bit Jason's. Uh, and you're going to do tremendous damage to the movement because I think the vision that I have for the free state movement has become a tremendously popular one. And that is what you guys feel is threatening to you. And you're doing this because you're scared of it. And, and you feel that you need to re reattain control. There is okay? And all I'm saying is that there needs to be space for people like me because there are a lot. I'm not saying yes, that, that I'm not demanding. Outside the board. There, there is, is not. You're part of so the who, movement, who, but who, you are no, who, who, who on the board represents the archetype of the libertarians that I represent within the free state? movement what, which is what, one of the largest is made up of archetypes of course it is that's the point we sell new hampshire to libertarians we're supposed to we we, we want to have 
the the institutional libertarians, the activist libertarians, the uh, the 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 culturally conservative libertarians, the culturally liberal. We want to be represented the different geographic areas. We talk about this all the time. That the idea. Of Jeremy, the this has nothing to, to do with this has nothing to do with what you believe. It's about how you communicate and how you treat your fellow board members and volunteers. I have been nothing is, nothing but nice to fellow board members and and fellow volunteers. Jeremy, Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy I need to understand your level of respect for each of the board members i mean is I, there any cohesion in your mind that you feel that you are a part of a, this group these professionals that are spending their time and that you feel that that when we go out in public and we represent fsp that we've got your back just so we can assume that you have our back in speaking about the board and about us individually well, right. I, I have your guys back 100% in, in general. I, that doesn't mean I'm going to defend everything you've done. And I don't ask that you defend everything that I've done, nor do I think that everything that you do represents the movement or the free state project when you do it. And nor do I think that that should be the attitude, uh, you know, towards me. No, um, I'm not saying so defend. What I'm saying is, is do you rep represent a level of respect for your board members as an FSP board member, that's what I'm saying. As we should all do that. I'm not saying you have to defend every single thing that we do. Absolutely. I mean, li li literally, the only the only event that's ever put uh, my question of my respect for you in my head is this: what's happening right now. I've always respected all of you. If I've ever shown any of you disrespect, I apologize. And Carla and I have been beefing, but I've been trying to find ways to peacefully work that out. That's why I keep encouraging. Let's mediate. Let's sit down. Let's talk it out. I'm no, not, I, 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 I want to be friends you. with Carla. I want to be friends with everyone here. I've but never I set out to make anyone you here you an enemy. You can't do that if you're on the board. That's, that's you your ego. That is your ego, Carla. That is your need. And we can't have board you, members. You pushed Jason Osborne out. Right? You you're pushed Dennis hated. Pratt out. And you're pushing me out. And this is the repeated pattern of the organization. As soon as someone... Uh, starts to get uh, get bigger than Carla, they have to go. Have, if you want to see the repeated Jeremy, pattern of I why have people have left this movement, it is this woman who has not been able... Carla, then why do you push everyone out, push people out, after person after person after person? Talk to what Dennis. Uh, talk to Dennis Pratt. Dennis Pratt will tell you I'm the only person me. he would be at the best port fest that's ever happened. Ask Dennis Pratt. Say, Dennis, is there anyone in the Free State Project Board that you could handle working with? He will tell you, Jeremy Kaufman only. OK, why am I the only person on the board that has a good exactly. relationship with Jason Osborne right now? Our most successful I, member. That's uh, that's news. I, to I, me. I so, but Mark has let's get back to the let's get back to the material. Too, so I'm not saying the only one. But the point is, yeah. So so you're so the, so the claim is, yes, that I yelled at someone at Soapbox Idol, a, a deranged person who is breaking the rules. I yelled at him. You're right. And that probably wasn't the right way to deal with it. I agree that that probably wasn't the right way to deal with it. OK, so, and when we've had. Uh, complaints about communications messages. Um, you've said well, that. Let's, se you let's sever. The... Let's sever communications and board because right now I'm. I. The, it is. If we want okay, to talk, but if, these are no, these no, are related no, because for you're. The record, you're... The reason, for the record, the reason we are having the board conversation is because I gave you an instruction on comms. You literally said you will not listen to me, took board discussion, put it in comms, weaponized the team against the board. All of that is documentable. So let's go, where let's go I one by one because I don't think I did address the comms situation with you and you reacted in such a extreme fashion that actually underscored the problem that we are experiencing with you, i.e., you are behaving erratically and with disrespect to your fellow colleagues in a way that makes it untenable for us to work with you. And that is why everything since then has been in writing. But you're very clever, Carla. I'll give you that. You did a very good job uh, stirring up drama in just the right way uh, and then laying no, it on my board's Jeremy, doorstep. This is drama that came to us. Like, discussion like, about the comms what, policy to so, other well, people. Let's go through. Let's go through. I mean, so since I, if this is, again, part of my trial, I think then the, the best thing to It is not a do, trial. Please stop framing something. Yeah, this is an like inquisition. Absolutely. Absolutely. You are getting this is fired an, from a
board where you're no, not. No, this doing is your a job. this is a Carla. Is we're so we're Carla. We're a movement that has a nonprofit. This is an inquisition from prominent leaders within the movement trying to say that I now lie I outside the center of it. To characterize well, it in your own little hero I mean, I'm, I tend to be better you at understanding what's going on than most people, and that's what's happening here. A break and come back when you're healthy. I, Carla, I, is, would this you is, like, this I, I'm, I'm happy to do very fit, I mean, this business is, or intellectual tests or personality tests, this, whatever you want to this do. This is more of a, really this is an intervention. This is, this, we're, we all want to be your friends. We all want to. And to, what do you think you you're succeed. intervening on? What is the behavior? So we've, I've, 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 I've yelled at you. You're, you're keep interrupting me every time I try to go down the list. So. But then let's go. We need to go carefully thing by, by thing. Then what's the next thing on your list yeah, so, after port? So, soapbox idol. There's refusing to manage the comms team as comms team leader. Um, there's refusing to accept. I, I did not refuse to manage. Well, let's hold on. Hold there's, on. Hold there's, on. Hold there's, on. Hold, hang on. I, you're interrupting again. I, thought you I said let's go one by one. With let, I never refused to manage the comms team, but I basically ceded management of the comms team to Carla. Carla has taken over the comms team. No, you okay. did not do that. Where did you do that? Uh, you said in the that sense you that I, in, the, in the sense that where, I've where? implicitly no, been. No, that you course, didn't yeah. do that. Maybe you did it in your head, but I can't actually read your mind. Well, I was All I can read is whatever you put in writing or say on camera. Okay. Uh, Carla, you have complete executive authority over the organization. You've already been in the comms chat I coming in and saying. I you a direct and, instruction that you actually I have not ignored. I have not ignored any you of your direct instructions. You Absolutely, outside the board. I, 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 I do and not. I, okay, why well, we are here now? These why are we just guys. yelling back and forth? Jason has a charge of that. I refuse to manage the comms team. Can you elaborate on that charge, please? So, In when what the, way did the, I refuse to manage the comms team? When when the complaints came out about posts on on Facebook. Um, you said that it, it wasn't really your job to um, control her messaging uh, or to, to train her in exactly what we want, that your philosophy is that basically you let volunteers do what they want once they're on the team. And okay. the sense of the board was that that is not how we want these teams to be managed, that, that we want team leaders to manage and train their volunteers and to be accountable to the executive director. After that, Carla... Um, so hold on. So you, I, hold yeah. on. So first, first of all, I just I'd like to just clarify as we go. So I did talk about her messaging. Uh, my strategy is not a refusal to manage, but an understanding of the way that libertarians tend to operate, which is they like to have their turf in their domain. And it's also an appreciation of the fact that because I hire, uh, because we, I, I, I find people who are good at what they, they do, they're already paying attention to the replies and the engagement on the post and when the community has a problem. So it is almost always unnecessary for to, to do an added on the top one. But I did talk to about that post. I just use an informal management style where I'm making sure that we understand what we're doing. I don't, this, this formalization for, for our organization of this is your first warning and so on this is all this is all very new i'm willing to go along with that system i'm also willing to stop being the comms manager so long as i'm still permitted to operate uh and communicate on behalf of, of the project and the organization so uh if you if you want to change the uh hierarchical structure of the organization i believe strongly in obeying the dictates and the rules of the roles that you have and if there if you if there are changes that are proposed to be made there they can potentially be made. I mean, I think you should at least hear uh, the counter argument or perhaps wait for the ED. I don't know why we're rushing to make these before an ED, but um, continue. Uh, when when Carla relieved you of your duties as communications manager, you refused to obey and said that you would take it public. Uh, that is so not that, threatening no. to damage the organization. Uh, when a, um, a controversy came up, but, but, let me so again let me respond to that yeah, the reason writing. of course so let me, so uh, but this is i believe i believe 
that I am an effective communicator on behalf of the Free State Project, right? That's what this is all about. That's what this entire conversation is about. That's why I expressed what it's about earlier, that this is about whether this is about the movement and some leaders within it. No, you just Pro keep uh, yeah. the okay. This and, is and about you being a Anyway, no, I, I know, I know, I know, Con. I But I sensed this months ago that this was what was uh, happening, okay? Uh, and so I knew that that fight then over and again, let's remember, Carla just <laughs> Car Carla just came into the chat one day and said, "Jeremy, you're no longer you're removed from Compton." There was no just she didn't sit down and talk with me. She never asked me to change anything or do anything differently. We never had uh, any real substantial uh, disagreements. She just came in and said, "You're out." Okay, so there had been something that was simmering in her head that I wasn't aware of for a very long time, and I knew that day. When that no, happened, no, 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 no. there was going to be a prolonged the intel. Yeah, Can you well, break down what happened on Twitter right after Pork Fest. Did, yeah, see, exactly. This is what this is about. This is about this. This is guys, and it's so silly to let it become this huge thing. Is Carla and I have had a beat. Car the, Carla is very upset. You had Car your back up till this Car meeting. Car Carla is very upset about what happened that Saturday of Pork Fest. I am sorry, Carla. I'm sorry to you. I am sorry that I did something that hurt you, okay? That was never my intention to do no, something that would hurt you. No, you are sorry for okay? your behavior, not how I feel about it. Right. I said that I did something. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry for what I did and that what I did hurt you. That's what I'm saying, okay? But there, I, there's, there's, no org, there's no functional organization that would tolerate this kind of behavior, behavior where you you refuse to obey direct orders. And that was the first one. Okay, the second so, one so, so wait, hold on, hold on. Just... Let me be clear. Let me be clear, Jason, because I'm not sure if you know what you are joining, okay, or what you are joining. This is a movement that has a nonprofit, okay? This We're is the not... board of directors We're of not... the nonprofit. Exactly. Not, not the board and, of directors. Okay, but there's no, but we can operate by our movement's norms. And the, this organization has always had these kinds of norms. I've I've been I've been involved operationally in some capacity, and of course Rachel was involved before uh, me. And the, the the norms they're proposing here are new norms. I'm not going to be the only person unfamiliar with them. I'm not um, saying we can't that's adopt true. them. That's not true. But... These norms of decency have always existed. The reason it's coming up is because of the way you behave. I mean the organizational with, uh, uh, norms. I and Carla, so who who else here is, feel I, Carla? I accept that I've possibly been been rude to you, and we should talk through that. Does anyone else here feel that I've been rude to them? A bit. Okay. Wait, how how do you feel that I was rude to you? I didn't know. I never intended to be rude to you. I think your behavior is is rude, and I just don't think that you realize that. I think you say things and act in a way that's that's. I'm not going to use the word unhinged, but just unchecked. And I don't think that you even realize it. I think that you say things and and if brought to your attention, sometimes you pause and you're like, oh, well, maybe you're right. And then other times you don't and you double down and you get extremely defensive. So, I mean, personally, I, you know, I'm aware of a few things that you did and said that I, you know, I don't want to bring up right now, but I, I know that they were not very flattering of myself um or other people that i know and you know i just from me personally i think the lack of respect for board members and for the mission of the organization that doesn't necessarily fall into what you view the vision to be but allowing other people to have perspective contribution according to what they bring to the board is lacking. I don't think that you respect other people. I think you see yourself as the godfather of the board, which I mean, without, I am not taking away any of the, of the hard work, the determination, everything that you've done for the movement or the board. Absolutely not. I, I do respect you, Jeremy, entirely. But I just don't think that you feel that way about myself or other members of the board and how your behavior is. You know, you go to Twitter, you attacked Carla on Twitter, you guys go back and forth about that whole pork fest thing. And I'm not making a big deal. That's between, you know, you and Carla. I'm looking at your behavior that's directed to a fellow board member. Our board needs to have absolute cohesion and respect for itself. And we have I, to function. Uh, I, uh, I don't know. Um, 
how I'm supposed to respond to what Carla has been doing uh, in a way that is perfectly uh, polite. She's trying to push me out. So yes, that bothers me, okay? But if we can find a way uh, to work together, I'm. there is no one in this movement that I actually dislike or have uh, a beef with, okay? Uh, I have opinions about people. I don't think that just because I'm a board member, that means I'm sp I, I'm, I have to love everyone or agree with everyone. I, yeah. I'm not aware of any time I've been rude or said anything negative about you, Caroline, not one. Frequently call people dumb or stupid. And, and I've seen that even on, on our board meetings about people who are not here. So, you know, I think there's a, um, there's, there is I've a never called anyone on the board dumb. Absolutely not. Okay. <clears throat> that's crazy that is crazy i i mean so i do refer to sometimes things as dumb decisions or dumb ideas i make dumb decisions and have dumb ideas that's just a that's just a classification word but i'm usually very careful with my language to refer to decisions or ideas as dumb i i would admit that i've done dumb things what i did at pork fest was dumb okay that's not a that's just the way i talk and again, lots of people talk this way. Lots of work environments work this way. Have you ever worked in a blue collar work environment? Do you know that we have lots of people who are comfortable talking this way, that go to jobs that talk this way, that have environments that talk this way all of the time? But Jeremy, Jeremy, I serve on a board of two people for my companies that own- I don't care. This I'm isn't your company. I'm not gonna call my fellow board member dumb. I don't, I don't believe I've ever called anyone here dumb. Okay, well, I'm just saying you're saying that things that you've done are dumb, and that's just a term that you may use or reference for an. Can you understand the distinction between calling someone dumb and and someone actually being and and something that they did being dumb? Like the difference between labeling an action or or something that a choice I, I mean, rather. I don't than... think this is material to anything. Okay. To go to the next. Sure. Uh, you, you have certainly, Jeremy. You I mean, you guys are going to be. I, I, you guys are going to look embarrassing when this goes out. You're going to be embarrassed by this, and the organization is going to be embarrassed by this. This is Jeremy, an, this is embarrassing. Continue. It it, it is embarrassing, it's just, it's but not quite in the way you think. Um, you, you'll see. Well, I I was getting and I, I was getting people on sending unsolicited screenshots from the comms team when you uh, apparently I didn't see it, but tested by multiple people re used the FSP account to retweet a self declared racist who has said. And I've seen again, seen this, seen the screenshots. Who has said that the violent white power fourteen word slogan uh, is perfectly fine? And you said that his his views were fully within libertarianism, and you refused to stop retweeting this account. Um, so again, another example of um, so, disobeying direct orders from the executive that, director so and, that, and pursuing your that, own that, private messaging agenda at the expense <laughs> of what we all believe. There are people one, who are Jason, Jason, if you those. if you try to if you try to tie this to, to one anonymous Twitter account and the fact that he was retweeted once again, this is what's going to be. This is why it's going to be in a free state, a really popular free state. Uh, this is going to be very this is what's going to make it so embarrassing. First of all, never, ever violated the directive. The directive to not retweet him was completely obeyed. OK, the idea that you that weren't were going to obey it. No, Jeremy, we can only judge propose, what you say in writing, and you told me you would not obey things. That, then show me, show me the right, show me, show me in different. writing. Sh share the picture or put it up on the screen where I said in writing that I would not obey your request to. You, post. you, until I asked you in writing on the board group whether you thought you were subject to the bylaws, and you realized that oh, you're in trouble now because you're moving parts no, around. Part I have been very strict in obeying every directive and order you have given to me. Jeremy, okay. If if you feel I have not followed one that I didn't understand. after a huge no. amount of fighting and drama, and that's that's the problem. After, that is not week, okay. having to do that with this no. us uh, from our agenda. Okay, Carl, if you're going to come in and vastly change existing policy, you have to actually pr propose some kind of policy or have some kind of new standard. The so, standard so what, in the case of this stupid Twitter thing. 
something. I'm the acting executive director have... of the organization. Okay. You are so... failing on comms. I asked you to step down very nicely. You told me you wouldn't. You then went to the comms team. You weaponized them against you. They sent in letters. I, because I recruited them in the comms team. That that they they because the because a ton, that they a ton the of people agree with me. And that's what I am saying. Jeremy, you of, have a amount. very distorted sense of where people's loyalties lie. So you only are seeing the side and, you, and it's great. And you have brought a lot of value. So I don't want this to actually devolve to anything beyond what we are asking you is there is a way if you actually care about the organization, no, zero that's, that's not you can then, if you if, then that's not, on the, that's not, not on the table. You're you're complaining you're what the role you're... of the board is with what the role of the movement is. But in order for us to function as an organization, it is absurd that someone could say that our names as a board should be attached to anonymous accounts because that's your uh, whim. No, no, so hold on. Let's, be, let, let's be, let's be, let's be very, no. let's be very clear here. Co please articulate positively the new standard that you're even proposing because we don't generally go through I mean, we everything. We, 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 we retweet we conservatives. We retweeted. To have a board conversation about what our comms policy was. That was what my original email was. You then totally shit the bed by doing like 14 crazy things that in no corporate structure would have happened. So there was no- What is this constant reference to corporate structure? We've always been a movement that has a, the structure of a, of a movement. We've always been volunteer. It's volunteer teams and volunteers doing stuff. It's people giving their time. We've never been this hierarchical over the hierarchical organization. Else. You cannot continue to sit on the board while acting in So, so sever them. So if you want to set, first of all, I think that it doesn't make sense to be combining this calm stuff with this board stuff. If but you it, Carla, if you, because you literally did not work with me on the calm stuff, escalated, 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 escalated to here. Uh, this I, is why we are having the board discussion. Until last we, night, I was still saying, let's make it a comms thing. Carla, we have never even had the board discussion about the comm stuff. I think it would be great because for us to have- Because you went the comms team when I tried to have that discussion. Could, the way could, you behave, the cause and effect is the reason we are here. Could you please- We have our, our, uh, uh, one of our biggest donors, perhaps perhaps our biggest donor ever has our said that he will, not, he will not donate uh, as long as you're on the board. He's also said he's not gonna donate to the Free State documentary. Um, you know, this is this. These are things I'm I'm hearing about, and I and I mentioned that the head of a libertarian organization who saw your your post defending apartheid and said this guy's a lunatic. This, okay, so this, there are so, this, your personal messaging affects. This is going to be so embarrassing. This is going to be so our organization. It affects all of us. We all get tarnished. We with have this people who have tweeted. We have, bullshit, and we're sick. Of I'm not a racial collectivist. Shut the fuck up. That is so dishonest. And it you is disgusting of you. It is disgusting. This is not the place. It, to it is so basic. That is Jeremy, so disgusting. It is disgusting. Believe. I'm disgusted. I can't believe. What what do you think I believe about people? How have I given you ever an ounce of evidence know. that we I don't consider everyone words, as an individual? Jeremy, we what? judge your words and your behavior. If, then you're, you're then right. you know what? If you if you can't tell the difference between understanding statistics and things that are true about groups and saying that therefore I judge people as individuals, then some people are exposing therefore themselves. Therefore, I support the violent stuff. government policies I, to put them into mass. Oh my God, Jason. Jason, that's not as what you're defending. No, I, I no, I don't not, this not to at all. Into that I can't believe that this. I'm getting kicked out because you guys went anti-racist. You're kicking me out because Jeremy, I said that because Jeremy. I said that South Africa is worse now. That Jeremy. is insane. Uh, we are not going to have this debate here that we can do then, somewhere else. Then why are we hopping around from thing to thing? I mean, I think all of this, Jeremy, again, of when other way. people watch this, when other people watch this, they are going to see that the two of you, Jason and Carla, have a set of beliefs 
about you know race, South Africa, whatever, that plenty of people in the movement disagree on this subject. Oh. Lots of people. You have made this personal for yourselves, okay? And you're there obsessing are, over this there, issue. Again, here, the yeah. reason we are here and we are having this conversation is because I gave you a direct instruction. You did not follow corporate What etiquette. direct instruction did I not follow? that you should step down from the comms team per my instructions that you should I did. make an admin I did. of I... the group and you ignored me, told me you wouldn't do it and in writing went to the group. Here's the point. I can document all of that. Those are the facts. You can try and spin them. You can tell stories. We can move the goalposts or whatever. But here's you... the reality from a corporate perspective and we, are a, we, we have bylaws, we have... We have an organization and organizations exist with guardrails so that when we're in situations like this, we can make good decisions. I do not personally believe you're acting in the best interest of the organization as a whole currently. Again, there are ways that we can make this good for everyone. I offered that you could take a sabbatical. I asked you to stand down. And all you did was disrespectfully escalate and waste, frankly, my time with your responses all over the place with this tactic where it's almost like you can't see that we can see what's happening. And I genuinely think you have a lot of value to bring, but you cannot be behaving the way you're behaving and expect us to be a professional organization that can go out and raise tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars where we're infighting and where you are not working as a team player. You actually cannot behave the way you're behaving and expect us to embrace it or accept it or have it as part of how we are functioning as an organization. I, I am happy to work as a team player. And it's crazy that you're going, you guys are going all the way to push me out when we've never, we've had multiple board meetings where we could have discussed these subjects and we could have discussed them without it being so high tension. And they weren't even raised by anyone. We had, we, we've been on Zoom calls like twice in the last month and this stuff wasn't even talked about. Okay. Because we were doing I, it in I, writing, we were talking a lot in writing, I, and there's I, no and again, for that, there, Jeremy. It, I, I, maybe we're changing how things work, but I've always done it with volunteers, and my understanding is when, you know, certainly when I was the ED, that I like it when my subordinates disagree with me. I encourage it, yeah, and then the question is, the question is, do they do they disagree and commit? Do they do what they're asked anyway? And I did everything that was asked anyway. I just also disagreed, okay? And so if there's a way that I'm supposed to disagree, I can disagree differently. If you wanna tell me what procedures I should follow and how to disagree. <laughs> yes, Carla, do you know how, it would have been embarrassing for you if I had gone public and said you kicked me off the comms team. That was why I didn't do that and instead reached out to a small group of people to show the board that you, Carla you was making a decision unilaterally right that was you unpopular. Admitted. Did take it outside the board. That so wasn't a board. Carla, that public. firing me from the comms team that is a comms decision. That's not a, a, how can you make decisions and for them not be public? Like, of course, it's going to be public that you've kicked. You me understand the board. that as a board, we have a channel. You clearly don't because you violated I tried, it. At least I, I sent an email with a detailed procedure of how these things should be handled. And actually, I think it would be good if we, you know, this would be something to be voting on because I've been very clear. Here's how you handle things. First, you attempt to go person to person. If they can't, if pe if two people are unwilling to go person to person, that already shows that they're very animated and agitated I went and unreasonable. Person about pork fest, you told we, me you did nothing wrong, and somehow I got kicked off Twitter that day. So we did have that again. This insane conspiracy theory, this schizophrenic conspiracy, conspiracy theory, theory that I I'm somehow got you kicked off of Twitter on the same day. That is all I'm saying. The that only reason, the only reason to bring that up is to put into people's Heads that I was somehow responsible. And it's again, I, it's I kind of bad you faith, were, but I dishonest. Be dis who follows you did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And again, you know, one of, uh, well, it's a shame those, it's a shame those, it's a shame those, re it's a shame those replies aren't up because once again, you would see that the majority of people agreed with me on that. The majority of through, people in the what? one channel where you choose to look at. No, that was in your, okay. We so, are a large movement with different moving parts. Jeremy. Uh, 
And you anyway. have to understand that when you bring evidence, you are bringing evidence of a small sliver of people. I hear that's, the same four names. Well, that's again. So I've encouraged. I think, of people you know what would be a I, I think it would be yeah. tremendous to say, hey, let's have this out publicly, how we talk about these things. Let's have the largest summit possible. Let's make our cases and let's let people stand up and clap and argue as to how we should communicate amongst and, ourselves. And you should let's go do, do that with love it. time as a volunteer when you're off the board. No, I think I that think sounds you like guys, a marvelous I think idea. you guys, some people here don't realize how out of touch they are with the Free State Project base currently. And again, I really would like you to learn that in a way that is the least possibly damaging to the organization. Does Who's that, is that a threat? Who's out it's, of no, touch? No, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's because, because I'm sure the organization will get damaged. No, I am telling you objectively, as someone who understands marketing and perceptions and all this stuff better than anyone on this call, who mm. understands where people are at in this movement better than anyone on this call, it, this will objectively, even if I did nothing, be regarded as a negative decision and you would get a lot of crap for it. Yeah, okay. we'll get a lot of crap for it. We'll get a lot of accolades and that's just the way it is. Decisions don't have to be final. We don't all have to agree. We don't have to like it. Here's the reality. I, I think you you're, I think put yourself in this situation. Absolutely Jeremy. not, Carla. You created this situation. I did not. Because you, you cannot tolerate other people that are, that are interesting, let's say. You can't tolerate it. You, you want to be on every podcast. You want to be on every show. You insist on putting your photo in every newsletter. You insist on doing every talk, every talking point, every comment. Okay. And you won't even, inter you won't even regard the evidence what the market says about your communications and how good you are at it. We, again, what evidence would you guys, you, you guys are going around polling people who are, who are telling you what you want to hear because you already had something you wanted to be persuaded of. Let's, let's look, again, do it on any, do it on, do it on any channel, do it on Facebook, do it on Twitter, do it on YouTube. If this isn't real, let's do it in person and let's do a summit at a minimum. I would think, given the severity and importantness of this choice, that the board would be interested in collecting data and information to make Ooh, and, it correct. And we're going to do that after the fact. I think in order to get, because we have, we're on the clock and because we have interviews coming up, I think we need to call the question and take the vote. And then, uh, you know, Jeremy, again, I think the issue can be resolved with you just taking a At little bit of time. Look, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm not going to throw this out of proportion. I think that's I, a mistake, and it's a mistake for the movement. And if you do it, it is going to reflect badly because it is going to underscore the fact that I'm saying you are not acting in the best interests. Jason, can you commit that this? Can you commit that this video will be published? This video is going to be published if you vote. We're yes, not. Yes, vote yes. We are not planning to. I mean, we've never done that. I just want a record. Yeah, we, we can publish it. We're not planning to publish a detailed explanation of our decision unless there's some attempt to create a, a huge amount. Uh, of so I'm going to be I'm going to be very clear. Not only will I be calling for a vote from everyone, I will be uh, be stay, I'm not going to rush. I'm not going to tweet it right after the vote. I'll think about if even if the vote goes negatively, I'll think about the slowest possible way uh, to kind of give you guys time to undo it. Even if someone makes a mistake, I'll try to find a way to, to let people undo it. But it is eventually going to come out. And the, and when it comes out, what I will say is that there is a video of the vote and the evidence that was presented against me as to why I was kicked off. And I will strongly encourage that that video be released. Because so I think anyone who views record, this video- I, would, I will be reading in, or we will be also sharing all the emails, all the screen grabs, the written co co correspondence between us on the board, everything you've submitted to me over the last this month. Is, this is, this is, the, uh, this is such unhealthy behavior. This is the narcissism of small differences. It's Gerard's scapegoating. It's, it's, it's what unhealthy movements do. It's, it's jockeying for, it, for status against each other. And it's no, so it's bad, it's so it's demanding a minimal level of professionalism. I mean, that's not- This is not perfect. I mean, again, this, this, there's no aspect of this when published that you're gonna say that you guys are professional. 
you, you, you clearly have emotional problems with me. You guys have an emotional conflict with me. And I would love to get back to a place where we could respect each other because I, I do respect you. You guys have done a tremendous no, amount for the movement, the spot, but this is an emotional, this is, this is an emotional thing that the two of you have with me and maybe a little bit Carol Ann now, although I, that one's new to me, Carol Ann, and I would like to fix that with you. But like it, Jason and Carla, this is mainly coming from the two of you clearly. And like, I really, I, I don't, I think it, we could just fix it, you know, rather than doing something that is going to be very damaging. We all seem to agree it's going to be damaging. I mean, you know. Yeah. Uh, if you want to talk about my emotional response to you, I mean, that really started when you, like Carla was saying, when you went outside of the board and had people on the comms team solicit on your behalf to the board. I just felt that was completely out of line. The okay. board on the board stays on the board. That's and, not a board, but I'm on that team. So let me I'm ask. Let, no, no, so let me ask. Let me ask a positive question. I'd be genuinely interested. We have a structure where there's one. Let's say it's one volunteer managing a team of five. Okay, and let's actually say that that volunteer recruited the entire team of five. Then the uh, the um, executive director uh, comes in. You know, it says, "Hey, you're gone." Just what, comes in one day, says, "Hey, you're gone." What is if that if it, now that person may care about the movement. They may want the movement to make the direct decision. Maybe that maybe it, the, the executive director has a beef with that person and they're being emotional. How can that subordinate person properly point that out to the organization itself? To me, to asking the, board, the five, hold on, Carla, Carla asking the five private people of that team to write a direct saying specifically, don't share that this decision happened yet. Don't talk about it. Could you please just write the board about it? That actually yeah, seems like the no, least possible damaging way to deal with it. You. I'm, no, I'm, the, the least damaging way to deal with it and the correct way to deal with it was to have that conversation on the board thread. You literally didn't even wait 10 minutes. So the point is you did this to yourself. Wait, what what do you what do you mean to have you removed me from the comms team? That's not a board, that's not I, I am a so, I, uh, so this I, might be confused. Hold on, this hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think this is a source of the confusion, partially here. I am there very is no confusion, I, Jeremy. No, we no, are hold very on. Aware I sever, I sever, doing. I sever my role hats pretty strictly uh, in my head. So when I'm acting as comms manager, I can't as comms manager bring something to the board chat. The oh, comms manager isn't in the board chat. Hmm, but see, that's where I feel you're incorrect. And just from my perspective, I mean, I I own like you all know i own multiple companies internationally domestically i know how boards are run and when you wear a board hat that supersedes any other role that's associated with that organization so we have the organization and we have the movement but your role as the board member has to supersede your role in the movement which would be comms director and but, you but, have to they're, but they're not they're not strictly superior to one another what i'm saying is that and maybe if you guys want me to do this i can I thought I shouldn't be because I'm just the comms because it's a comms issue. I thought I shouldn't be bringing every disagreement that I have with Carla there. I thought I I thought that would be inappropriate to be to be de derailing the board and saying I have some disagreement with Carla because that's not a board level issue. That's that's part of the operation. The board was already discussing it. The board was, and and Carla had brought it before the board. So yeah, that would have been the appropriate thing. And to say to Carla and to the rest of the board, hey, here are the comms team members. Please reach out to them. You could do something like that. That would have been the the appropriate uh, course of action there. So I'm not like I I think if if I if we let a volunteer go, and that volunteer simply asks some of his friends or her friends to write a private message saying, hey, please reconsider this decision. That that's an entirely appropriate behavior. Uh, but I, I, I can not update how. How I think about that, but that, that to me, that would be. Member. You're a board member. You are above a volunteer in the movement. You are a board member. That's completely different. I, do, I know that you say you want to separate those, but they're not. They're not. They, they, they run congruently. And actually, one is superior to the other because you have to set an example and you have to run the organization itself with the so, other board members. So maybe this, is a, maybe this is like a gender thing, but I actually try to always think, what is my role right now? And then I shift whether sometimes I'm subordinate to someone else, sometimes I'm the superior. And I, I'm always I'm always thinking about what role I'm, I'm playing in any sort of given 
you know, interaction. So no, I don't think of it that way. Again, I can't, we can change this, but I was trying, I wasn't, I wasn't doing something outside of the policy. I thought I was following the policy. And so it's great. I, it, I think it's, you are disingenuous, Jeremy. You did it because you thought that that would be the way that you can win, which is the way you approach everything. There is no collaboration here. There is no mutual Carla, I've, encouraged, I've, I've respected, I've said nothing but, can we please have a cooperative discussion where we try to find common ground? You, you guys like have been going around gossiping behind genuinely, like, genuinely, do you think your responses over the past three weeks have indicated any good faith efforts on your part? You, I, I, I uh, thought that you had it out for me and, weren't gonna, and it wasn't going to be possible to get you to back down. I was hoping that we could have a mediated conversation and that someone, maybe if we had it with some people that we both respect, that they could get a, that could get you and I to a point of, of peace and uh, uh, respect. But uh, your I, initial I position when we started talking was, was you will not obey. And the only reason you decided was when you got caught where you were like, oh, okay, I'm subject to the Bible. I, again, I have, I have obeyed, I have, I, the My only, question, the only, the only directive that I could have someone. claimed to have not, the only directive I could have claimed to have not obeyed was when Carla you came into the chat and without warning said I was removed from all roles in comms. That was very, that was very hurtful to me. And and I then asked I volunteers privately, the privately uh, to message the board, and then Carla, and then Carla, and then Carla changed her mind letter. and rescinded that decision. That is Carla not rescinded that decision Jeremy, after. That is not what happened. Yeah. I, I believe that's what happened. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think we I think we need to call. I'd like to call for a vote and move for a vote. Uh, guys, I really think you need to delay this or think about this. Do not do this. Do not do this in a rush. OK, like the, even if you're going to do it, I think this is a big mistake because this is not the, the the grounds are just not here. And I've done a tremendous amount for the movement. And there's going to be a lot of people who aren't going to like it. And who are going to, especially with, with, with what you the presented. The board about. letter of the discussion so. we were having information they needed. I think we ran out of time. I'm presenting the images that we've had uh, and, and the screen grabs from comms and all of that as well. So um, I think we should call it to a vote. I honestly, you know, uh, Jeremy, for what it's worth, and I think this is important to know, and I think every board member here can actually uh, 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 reiterate or bomb this. I did not whip or talk to one board member well, then Jason before did. this because you think I'm out to get you. That is not what's happening. I started that conversation about comms because you have a very hard time listening and responding in a way that is conducive to useful management. And I put everything in writing because it is a record of what, how you actually behave and how you act. And so again, I did not whip anyone up against you. I wasn't out to get you. I wanted us to come up with something that would be a comms policy that would actually function so that if we are bringing in a new executive director, they don't have to deal with someone who thinks he can just do what he wants with no consequences for no for for the thrill of it that's not i don't there's nothing i'm doing for the thrill of it nor do i think there should be no consequences nor have you ever proposed a single the policy change there's no there's no policy change you've made that i haven't so, um, so the obeyed. policy over the 15 years that i've been involved with this movement is pretty much yo we have arms length we're laissez faire everyone's kind of doing what they want and then when someone goes extremely rogue, it's like, we have to do something. Who, what, 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 how, 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 how? And you're not willing to take any guardrails. The only reason what, you're not- What guardrail have I refused? What do you want? Does, okay, we, this is the first time you guys are going- One, we've had the policies of not promoting political violence. We're not a violent revolutionary movement because that's not going to work even if it's I morally- completely, I completely- And we've had, and we've had the policy against promoting bigotry and, and both of those policies, you said you weren't going to enforce. That is absolutely, I, I absolutely did not say that. I asked for clarification on the policies because I said, if we're not promoting political violence, 
I, I said, what is the difference between this post, which was deemed over the line, and posts about the Pine Tree Riot and Independence Day and comparable posts? I wasn't saying no and to that rule. I was seeking clarification on, on the rule. Similarly, I have, I, hold on. I, have, I, I am the only person who has offered a positive definition of racism. I have said strongly that we no, should not read people well. who are racist. Okay, so my, my definition, okay, what, what's your definition? Okay, because Carla has not, not offered a definition that of racism. Now. But you're saying you're claiming that I violated a policy of racism that the organization has, and this is why I'm saying it's going to be embarrassing for you guys because we, I definitely haven't, at least not any sane person's definition of racism. You said you were going to continue promoting an account that self that I did not Instead, say that I, I did. I, again, I never once said that I will continue to promote that account. Carla's I, request you know, to not screenshot. retweet that account was completely obeyed. I w do believe that that person is within bounds of the free state movement. He's literally a libertarian hoppy and anarchist. He's followed by 40,000 people on Twitter and he's very popular. Okay, so you, you're saying that this person has views that are behind the beyond the pale, but he's one of the most popular and most followed free staters uh, in the entire state. He's friendly with multiple state reps. I messaged one uh, state rep and he said that that guy was really tame and completely right, within and the overture Right, and should ask that state rep for the so, list of people who aren't okay. as tame, but really so, it was not there's, enough. There is, a motion on, there is a motion on the on the floor. So again, this is why it's going to be, it's it's going to look very bad. Um, also, uh, yeah, okay, no matter. So uh, we need a we need a second to close discussion. So I understand it. Second. Second. Carla, do you want to manage the vote? Oh, chair. do I? All right. How do we do this? Sorry, as Just chair of the board, I guess. So we have a motion on the table to remove Jeremy from the board and from comms. And motion was. And seconded was Carol. Caroline, did you talk to Bruce about this? Well, Bruce isn't on the board. Yeah, I know, but I talked to my wife about things. I'm curious if you talked to Bruce about this because Bruce, I think, is pretty supportive of me. Jeremy, all of us are supportive of you. What we are not supportive of is you functioning in this role currently. So I, that think, if, how... I think if Bruce sees this video, he's going to think that you guys were... Kind of silly actually but i don't know maybe i don't, I don't know. but i think when bruce reads the exchanges bruce will understand why this happened yeah i mean here's the thing about bruce bruce says extreme things too jeremy you know and he he has a lot of social media presence and he has a lot of passion in how he views you know libertarianism and the movement and all of that but if he says something on social media that i say hey you got to tone that down because that is inflammatory and that's got to stop you know what he does is he stops. Oh, yeah. I listened to Rachel. Yeah. Well, I mean, all right. So that's the thing. So that's what I'm saying. So is the, you, do you think he would listen if the board asked him to stop? Do you think he would listen to the Free State Project board? If he was a board member? Yes, I do. Because he acts within the board guidelines for other boards that we all serve on. So I, yes, I, would, I would hope that Bruce is a big enough man that he would demand his own uh, personal space. people to... who are not on the board? This conversation well, is not just, relevant. We have a curious. second for closing the discussion. Um, you know, again, so I, I guess we should go around. Jason, uh, how do you vote? Right. Carol Ann? Aye. Mark? Hello, yes. Uh, Seamus? Aye. Carla, yes. So unanimously, the motion carries again. So right was there. It was unanimous. Jeremy probably voted no. Well, he, he left the board. He, he jumped off the call right now. So let the record reflect at 1702 uh, without weighing in on his position. Jeremy left the board. I think it's really important for everyone to understand this is an incredibly difficult decision. We don't take these decisions lightly. No one here actually wants 
to do this. But from my personal perspective, this is the only way we can actually remediate some of the brand damage we're experiencing, some of the personal reputational damage we're experiencing, bring some sponsors and donors back into the organization. I think Jeremy has mad talents. I think he's a smart guy. I think he just needs to go maybe take a break. Um, you know, he's stressed. There's a lot going on in his life. And just from my perspective, personally, um, you know, I, 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 everything I'm doing is out of love and concern for the movement, for the Free State Project, for Liberty, for everything we're trying to do here. And I just, I think it's the best decision right now. And maybe things will change in three or six months, but we offered him the opportunity to take a sabbatical. He chose not to do that. And that is why we're here today. Yeah, I echo all of that 110%, Carla. This is the last um, thing I wanted to be doing, last position I wanted to be in. But on the plus side, I think now we can at least get focus on, on actual board business and get things done for the FSP. So, um, Buckle up, folks. Yeah. yeah. It's not over. Yep. Yeah. Um, but uh, as I as I mentioned to Carla, I'm, I'm happy to be a public face on this if that is if that is helpful. I know in the past when the board has had tough decisions, um, you know, Carla felt a little bit hung out to dry. Um, and so I don't want that to happen again. So um, you know, I'm happy to be the public face on this. Okay, thank you, and I appreciate that. All right, I think we have a 5.15. So yes. let's 